Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike Kelly, and on this channel, I cover topics on personal finance, personal development, and social media. In today's video, I am going to tell you how I change my life through something I like to call the goal mindset. I'm gonna tell you a story about kind of how I got to where I am today, and all of the steps that I took along the way. And I'm also going to give you some tools to hopefully help you achieve whatever dreams, goals, aspirations that you have. Now, all of us only have 24 hours a day, so a big part of this is going to be time management, and I'm gonna give you a bunch of different skills to help with that. If that sounds interesting, stick around. Let's get right into it. get started today I just want to ask you to please hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button down below it's completely free and it helps me out a lot as a creator because it shares these videos with more people who could potentially benefit so I really appreciate you guys for subscribing those of you who are new here welcome and let's get right into it I'm gonna start this story from the moment I graduated from graduate school. I got my MBA with a finance concentration from Gonzaga University, and that's kind of also why I'm wearing this shirt today in today's video. I thought it was kind of fitting. Anyway, I graduated from Gonzaga University and I was looking for jobs. I finally found one as a financial analyst at a company that I really enjoy, I, I love the people I work with, I love my, my nine to five uh, work schedule, and I honestly really enjoy what I do on a day-to-day -day basis. So I was really excited, and I still am really excited to work here, to feel appreciated for the work that I do, and also to be able to contribute in a big way to this company. But with that being said, about six months six months into the position, I started to think, I started to realize some things that I, some thoughts that I didn't necessarily have before I took this job. Before I took the job, I sort of found myself at the mercy of what society wants. You gotta get a job, you gotta be able to have health insurance, you have to be able to pay your own bills, and you have to be able to live on your own. So having a job is the easiest way to do those things, and having a job that provides those things is absolutely fantastic. The thing is, is that after six months, I really started to look around, not only at my coworkers, but I started to also think about my friends and my family and the things that they do from Monday to Friday, which is work, usually nine to five, sometimes more hours, sometimes less hours. But the point is, is that all of my friends and family actually work at a company where they work for someone else. This is great because as I mentioned before, they provide a lot of benefits for the employee and it really helps you get to the next step in your life, which might be buying a house, having a family, having kids, building up a savings, all of those great things. The thing that it takes away from, however, is that when you're doing a job 40 hours a week, you are devoting 40 hours of your life to only one thing. In my case, finance. I absolutely love finance. However, there are also a lot of other things that I have interest in, whether it be art, videography, photography, traveling, meeting new people, trying new foods, and experiencing new things all the time. When you work for someone, you can experience, experience those things, but a lot of the time, they're a lot more spread out because you have to work for them. You have to work, let's say, six months to get a week of vacation, or you work a year for two weeks of vacation. And something that I started to realize and really take into my conscience was that you can work somewhere for 10 years, 20 years, and if, you, if I compare myself to someone who's working somewhere for 20 years, what is the difference? That person probably has more responsibilities, they probably get paid more, and they probably have more vacation, maybe two weeks, three weeks more vacation than I do. 
do I want to live in a life where I only have the amount of vacation that I have worked for or do I want to live in a life where I can spend all of my time doing things exactly what I want to do. More importantly, I want to be able to have the time to do the things that excite me every single day. If Monday I'm really excited about finance, but Tuesday I'm really excited about trying to get the perfect photograph for a project that I'm working on. And my mindset was still, you know, I can do all those things. If I work hard, if I save my money, if I work hard, all of those things will come. Being able to start a YouTube channel, a successful YouTube channel, being able to grow a photography business, being able to have time to travel for a month on end, all of those things will come if I work really hard at my job. But one morning I woke up and I realized that those things weren't gonna come. Those things were not going to come if I just sat, woke up every day, went to work, came home, ate dinner, watched Netflix, and went to bed. Those things will not come. There's a 0% chance that they're going to come. Now tell me if this sounds familiar. I ask my friends, my family, even my coworkers sometimes this question, what, what are your dreams? What are you interested in doing? What really excites you? And it's usually something grand, like I would love to start a yoga studio or I'd love to open up a coffee shop or a restaurant or I would really love to go into the Peace Corps and spend two years doing that. And my response is always, well, why aren't you doing it? Of course, the obvious reason is that the person wants to be able to pay, needs to be able to pay their bills and sometimes with a family you need to be able to support not only yourself but everyone else in your family and I totally completely understand that. A job gives security to do those things. The scary part is the answer. The answer is almost always, yeah, someday I will. Someday I will. That right there is the scariest part and I'm not gonna lie, I was that same person. I was someone who would also say, in my mind I would think, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna build a YouTube channel or I'm gonna um, build a really successful photography company. But then I'm like, wait a minute, how, how is that gonna happen? How is that just gonna fall into my lap? And the answer is that it will not. Zero, zero percent chance that that is just going to happen on its own. You have to take incremental steps towards that goal every single day in order to reach your ultimate or ideal life. Okay, so the next thing that I wanna talk about is how to do that. How do you take those steps and how do you move forward? A lot of people say, I come home from work and I'm absolutely exhausted and there's nothing that I want more other than to sit down and relax and eat my dinner and that's just about it. But you know, to be honest with you, I was also in the same position. I always felt like I didn't really have the energy to start something or start working towards something when I got out of work. But what I found was once I started, things got a lot easier. And the other thing is that I noticed when you're working on things that matter to you and that you're passionate about, it really doesn't seem like work. It's a lot more fun. So you're actually working towards your goal, but you're not really feeling like it's work, it's more or less fun. You're just trading Netflix for something that you're actually interested in doing. So now I'm gonna give you the steps of how I started and hopefully these steps help you guys to move forward in the goal mindset. The first step and the most important step is start. Completely obvious, but as I said, once you start and you start taking these very, very small steps towards your goal, uh, you'll start to see that it's not really as hard and as scary as you thought. So if you wanna learn the guitar, then um, go on Google and search for a guitar teacher and ask, hey, I'd love to, to start taking classes once a week and just start doing it. Don't think about it, just start. And before you know it, you'll be a year down the road and you'll be a pro at guitar and you'll be like, wow, that really wasn't as hard as I thought. If it's a business that you're working on, 
take little chunks, say, okay, um, I want to start a bakery business. And the first thing that I want to work on is my logo because that's the most important thing. Focus an hour every single day after work working on that logo until you've kind of perfected it and you feel like you can move on to the next step of the process. For me, the things that I did, I wanted to learn guitar, so I did that. I started, I, I reached out to someone and I started uh, taking lessons. I wanted to start a YouTube channel, so all I did was I got my camera going and started making videos and uploading them to YouTube. I wanted to get good at video making in 2015, so I said, okay, I'm gonna start a, a vlog for 50 days nonstop making a video every single day. If that doesn't make me a good video maker by the end of 50 days, I don't know who the heck I am. So I just started and did it, and I got a lot better throughout the process. Step two is get organized. So what I talked about at the very beginning of this video was every all of us obviously have only 24 hours. So time management is a big part of this, especially if you're working a nine to five job, 40 of your hours per week are gonna be taken up by that. So all of those other hours, map them out. Make sure that you know what you're doing when you get home so you don't have to think about it. When you get home, I've already prepared my meals for the week, so I don't need to worry about that. I don't need to try and make a healthy decision there. I can come home, grab my meal, and I can get right to work. What am I working on? I don't know. Let's see what my, cal uh, my calendar says. What did I say that I was gonna work on for this hour? Okay, this hour I'm gonna work on trying to figure out the economics behind the business that I'm trying to build. Where's the best place for me to open up a coffee shop? Or if it's learning guitar, immediately sitting right down with a guitar and start practicing for an hour every single day. If it's YouTube, sit down and start either planning a video or turn on the camera and just start talking. Now, getting organized is really important because a lot of people get held back by organization. They get, it, it's easy to get flustered and get scared um, when you don't feel like you're organized and you don't feel like you're making any progress. And it's easy to feel like you're not making progress when you're not organized. You have no way to track what you've done and what you plan to do. So step two, get organized. Step three is writing down your goals and also writing down what is going to keep you from getting there. And along the way, as you start to make strides towards those goals and have that goal mindset every single day, you're going to start seeing that you're actually making progress towards whatever dream you have. Now, it's really important to celebrate those moments because it will reaffirm that all of the hard work that you're putting into this is actually going somewhere. And writing it down and actually seeing it, it helps your brain understand that what you're doing is meaningful. And another thing is that you can go back months and months and months in your diary or your journal, wherever you write this stuff down, and you can see when you've hit a bad spot, when you feel like you've gotten nowhere, you can look back and see, actually, I've done a lot. I still have more to do, but I can't get down on myself because I know that I can get through these tough times and I can see it right here in my journal. And last but not least, step four is to surround yourself with other people who are also working towards their goals. And not just any people, people that are working towards similar goals. So if your goal is to build a YouTube channel, reach out to other creators and find out kind of how they got through the tough times, how they built their channel from zero to a million subscribers or a thousand subscribers. Whatever your goal is, talk to other people that have already done it and take notes and try and figure out how you can apply the lessons that they learned into whatever you're doing. If it's a business, talk to someone who's already built a successful business. If it's guitar, talk to someone who already knows how to play guitar and who has started from zero. Some of the things that they went through in the beginning, I am sure will help you overcome whatever struggles that you are facing. Now that is the end of today's video. And again, I really appreciate you guys for being here and listening to my story. And hopefully some of these tools that I've given you will help you reach your true potential and eventually have unlimited amount of time to do all of the things that you were meant to do. Now, 
please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Again, it's totally free and hitting that like button if any of the content in this video you found helpful or useful. Until next time, take care.